This video demonstrates how to create project using RL78 F13 device in CS plus CC. Also, we will see how to debug target board using CS plus CC. First, launch CS plus for CC from start menu. You can log in to my Renesas account as necessary. Go to file. Click new and create new project. Select microcontroller series RL78. Put device part number. I am using RL78 F13. AT pin device. Part number is R5F. 10 BMG. Select kind of project application CCRL. Give project name example. Select directory and select check select make the project folder checkbox. It will create the project folder with project name. After creating project on left hand side, project tree will appear. This project contains some standard startup files. Pin configurator design tool is available to create an Excel sheet of your configuration. Device has AT pin. And AT pins are available for user. So, user can select pin function using this device pin list. This pin list you can save in Excel format. For that, go to in file, save device pin list. And give name. Same like device top view option is available. You can see this pin configuration in picture format. We will use code generator to complete initialization setting of microcontroller easily. In code generator, we have clock generator, port, interrupt, serial, ADC converter, timer, watchdog timer, real-time clock, data transfer controller, buzzer output, voltage detector, peripherals, which will create the basic driver for your device. To start with code generator, first go to clock generator. As you know, we have some functions on multiple pins. Like timer input is available on port 17 as well as port P66. After confirmation, click fix setting. Once the pin assignments have been fixed, it is not possible to change them later. Now go to clock setting. Select clock for your CPU and peripheral. We will go with high speed on chip oscillator with 32 megahertz. If user want to select external oscillator, then needs to check this high speed system clock. In Exxon oscillation, type oscillator value. In CPU and peripheral clock setting, you can find we have selected 32 megahertz as a CPU and peripheral clock. After clock setting, go to on chip debug setting. To enable on chip debugger operation, select use checkbox and select even emulator.
This code generator will enable watchdog timer by default. To unuse watchdog timer, check unuse box. In Renesas target board, we have connected LEDs on port number 66 and 67. We will use pin as an output and we will make default pin status as high. We will use timer array unit which has 8 channels. We will use timer array unit channel 0 as an interval timer and interval period will be 500 milliseconds. Now click on generate code. It will generate code generator folder in project tree. In main to initialize the timer, copy start timer function from timer.c. in main in timer isr we will toggle port pin Then go to build and rebuild project. After successful rebuild, go to RL78 simulator, right click on RL78 simulator, click on using debug tool and select RL78 E1 serial. Then right click on RL78 E1 serial, click on property, RL78 debug tool property will appear with 4 tabs. First go to connect setting, select emulator which connected with your system and select serial number. To give power to your device, we have option power target from emulator. Drop down this list, click S and then select 5 volt. Now after connect setting, go to debug and click rebuild and download. After connecting emulator to your device, you can see yellow arrow pointer. Yellow arrow indicates the instruction to be ex executed in program counter. The orange mark is indicates to put the breakpoint. Put breakpoint at timer channel start. Now click on run button. Your code will start executing. To execute code step by step, Click F5 button from keyboard.
टू सी पोर्ट पिन स्टेटस इन लोकल वेरिएबल्स गो टू व्यू क्लिक ऑन वॉच सिलेक्ट वॉच वन वॉच वन विंडो विल अपेयर ऑन राइट साइड क्लिक ऑन एड अ न्यू वॉच एक्सप्रेशन पुट टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स पोर्ट पिन now we will start executing once you stop your execution program program counter will show which instruction is to be has to be executed to see port pin status at run time go to rl78 e1 serial select next second tab debug tool setting access memory while running is by default no select drop down and make it s now go to main and run your execution you can see port pin status is toggling now we have seen how to create project in cs plus tc and we have seen how to connect emulator with our target board in my next video we will see how to use other peripherals and how to demonstrate other drivers thank you